डॉक्टर अजिप्रिया बोरा आई गेस नॉट अवेलेबल आई रिक्वेस्ट आर नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटर मिस्टर शेरी एम रेजी आर यू देयर यस सर प्लीज मैम गो अहेड Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone present here for being here for seeing my research paper on mental health of adolescents in current context. So is my paper visible? Is my slide visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We we'll start with the introduction. Adolescence is seen as a time line which lies between the age groups of 10 to 19. It is seen as a time period where adolescents undergo many social changes, psychological and emotional characteristics change. the thinking perspective of children has changed and the practical critical and sure, more widened ma'am if you can click on the present uh, so that we can get a full screen view because uh, you are not put it in the presentation mode what sir uh, the screen that you were sharing just now you could click on the present uh, uh, to present it in the presentation mode Okay, sir. Yes, you can click on the present at the bottom left corner. Now it is visible. You can go ahead. Yes. So we can see that the academic pressure and chaos created by the parents are also a reason which leads to adolescent mental health issues. statement of the problem some of the reasons which leads to mental health disorders are anxiety disorders childhood rejections trauma discrimination and social stigmas behavioral changes or hormonal changes poverty which could be a family background pressure and debt issues family pressure in educational settings could also be a reason for the mental disorders and also the usage of substance alcohol and unwanted relationships and other means could be another reason psychological physical and mental variations which leads to mental disorders like bipolar disorders and others should be treated or else could lead to mental illness some of the review of literature of researchers men taken during his research paper firstly s p a arun and b s chawan of 2009 they have done a study on stress and suicidal issues in adolescent students a cross sectional study of school students in urban areas of chandigarh the second one is physics jabari the harasophy and golam reza manshar on the year 2014 on the topic mother's characters and adolescent depression which determines the forgiveness and remediates mothers with depression problems in adolescent students of Eshwan's Girls School Dr Smriti Kanna Mitra Ghosh in the year 2016 on the topic parent depression and adolescent mental health represents that parent depression is the major reason for mental health of adolescents As Sugair Ayer and Farwana Ames in the year 2012 represents on the topic prevalence of mental disorders among high school students in Saudi Arabia. Adolescents undergo psychological, biological, and social changes with mental health problems. Chabra G S and Shodi M K 2011 on the topic factors contributing to the social psychosocial ill health. in male adolescents this could be this was conducted in schools and colleges in urban rural areas of amritsar salima mehrani 
N. Punjali and K. A. Rahim in the year 2021 reveals the impact of pandemic, major reasons for mental health conditions among children and adolescents. E. Hart's M. A. Lodes are trainers in the year 2022 states that the longitudinal research and temporal relationships between exposure to loneliness and mental health outcomes. C.L. Odgers and M.R. Jensen in the year 2019 represents on the topic adolescence and mental health in digital age. This states that the long time spent in front of the online platform could lead to mental health disorders. Some of the findings tells us that mental health disorders are mainly due to stress disorder, anxiety disorders, or parental deprivation, mainly when parents are deprived, children lack education and the career goes behind. And others such as which leads to substance abuse, alcohol, grief problems, psychological problems, and other means. Some of the suggestions or key points in brief is to maintain psychological problems of adolescents, to get, make them involved in extracurricular activities, to have self-control or always be goal-oriented or aim so that this, this could lead to a positive outcome and help them overcome the anxiety disorders rather than being disturbed or deviated in the worldly things. Even spiritual beliefs could help the coming generation or the adolescents to overcome their mental disorders in one perspective. As a conclusion, adolescence is a, is a crucial and important prospect for the growth and development process. To build self-confidence and critical thinking, at the same time, parental responsibility to see how the teen's developmental stage can be thinking and give them opportunities and resources at a wider range can help them overcome the stress, suicidal issues, tendencies at a wider range. These could be, this could help mental health of adolescents to be decreased and widened. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, we are open for question and answer session. If uh, anyone among the participants has any question, please go ahead. So, ma'am, uh, I think this is uh, just a review paper. Uh, and uh, in the title, you have not mentioned that it is a review paper. The title is Mental Health of Adoption in Current Context. So uh, I think uh, it should have been mentioned in the title of the paper that this is just a review paper. Hello? Yes, sir? Ma'am, uh, the title does not mention that it is a review paper uh, and uh, it should have been mentioned in the title of the paper that uh, you are presenting a literature review. Uh, about this, uh, these different works by authors. So uh, my uh, simple question is, uh, uh, when you talk about mental health of adolescents in current context, uh, what do you mean by this current context? Uh, what are the uh, relevance of this, this current context? Uh, it is uh, uh, dependent on the time era. What is current context in that? Current context could be that during this pandemic time period, we could say that many of the youth or the adolescents were involved, were more much important given to phones or social media, which led to their sleeping disorders or appetite problems and other malfunctioning problems, or they're entering into unwanted sites. So this this was a really which their which intent increase their stress problems or not able to share their things with their family members. So such things could also lead to mental disorders in the adolescents. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, thank you ma'am, you can take a leave. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, now I request uh, Sarah Philippus uh, to please uh, present his paper, uh, Social Protection of Children with Special Needs. Sarah Philippus, are you there? Yes. Uh, please ma'am, go ahead. Good afternoon to one and all, uh, one and all present here. I am Sarah Fessel Phillips, doing my bachelor's in social work, third year. Hello, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt. Kindly share your presentation. Yeah, sure, sure. Is my screen visible? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Good afternoon, one and all present here. I'm Sarah Cecil Phillips from Madras Christian College, studying third year bachelor's in social work. And today I'm here to present my paper on, uh, a review paper on social protection of children with special needs. As we all know that a child with special needs need really special attention and care and guidance. A child with special needs are the most vulnerable section of the society and their social protection is prime for the better living. Social protection for children with special needs are to be provided with adequate standard of living and an income security for their families, decrease the vulnerability and poverty situations in their families. The children face the world when they are targeted vulnerable, hence proves the condition of these children and their families face lack of protection. These children need extra care and guidance. Social protection is provided in today's world with legislation made by various welfare organizations all over the world with different governments and constitutions. The statement of the problem here that the children with disabilities face are poverty, discrimination, denial to access facility, violence, finance uh, problems, and social isolation. As we all know, poverty is faced by each family who has a child with disability or special needs. A child with disabilities or, or special needs and their family always have extra cost of living due to the medical needs or the uh, uh, medical uh, expenses that a family has, which leads to poverty. And discrimination is where, where people target them um, and in front of them through their uh, way of looking or the way of their acting or their disabilities. Deny to access facilities Many of the families or the children do not have access to all the facilities available today. It may be in school, it may be through uh, any government means or um, through any source which helps them. Violence, uh, because they are voiceless or they cannot speak back as children, people take advantage of them and create violence against them. There are financial problems as discussed, uh, which leads to poverty and social isolation where children are not admitted into regular schools which lead them to have social isolation at home. According to the UNICEF report, the statistical evidence show that globally almost 240 million children are born with or disabilities, out of which 49% of the children with special needs do not attend school, and 47 are likely to be primary uh, out of primary school, 33 are out of lower secondary school, and 27 out of the upper secondary school. In 2017, again a report presentation by UNICEF showed that 45% of children with disabilities face discrimination and violence. 24% of the families in which one of the parents had to give up their job to take care of the child. 72% of children with disabilities have residential care and 32% of parents believe that they, are, uh, they get very low quality of health care services. 
According to the review paper which I have done, I have reviewed many papers uh, by different uh, writers and through the study I have found out that a study by Kathleen Helper and Donna Spiker which explains that the child delays and disabled which explains the eligibility to be a disabled child as categorized in the law and each state determines its own condition. It also explains the effective ways to uh, ways to support their development and growth, with, which includes language and social intervention skills and various systems of support through different practices. These their findings were that enhancement in quality of basic education will help the welfare of all the children. A review. A research review by Lisa Oud on the families with special needs uh, and their success reveals that the social protection matters not only for the children but their family also and how dominant is education in their childhood years. According to the study of UNICEF for every child inclusive, <coughs> inclusive of uh, social protection systems for children with disability in Europe and Central Asia exhibits components like social protection programs, social assistance programs, social insurance, social care services, labor policies, health coverage, usage of technology, etc. This addresses their needs and it also talks about the poverty that pushes these families and children in lack of social protection. We need to understand the appropriate advantages that is to be given to these families during, during these periods. Bringing into investment to cover the provisions of social assistance which would reward them with proper facilities. It explains the role of private sector to help the children and the families in development and design of persistent technology for these families. I also had an interview with the founder director of a school of, with children with special needs and I realized that um, through the way of uh, the interview went, she explained to me that teaching children about social protection is very important in today's world for them to understand and explain their needs and to um, get their feelings out through a child. School train and make them, them capable to stand on their feet by giving them roles in situations as play, which brings awareness into the children about their surroundings. Parents get anxious and depressed. Certain times they, are, they also deny their own child, but over a period of time, they accept their child with disabilities. Technology also plays a vital role in engaging children to learn through animations, uh, various techniques, situational games, which help them to develop and understand the society. Also, it is uh, technology also plays a role of disadvantage, where a child can uh, be out of, uh, can experience social isolation due to it. Giving them equal opportunities in the society is their birthright, and they are unique and talented in different fields. My suggestions to this problems would be yes, children with special needs have to be given extra care and attention which includes giving them equal opportunities as other and they are in their human right. Suggestions to bring change in lifestyle to help social protection develop for these children are other people through social assistance programs which help them understand and disability targeted benefits, aware them about the social insurance and health rights for financial aids to the families with assistant or assistance from organizations, government and stakeholders. Benefit packages for health purposes whenever there is a need or emergency for the child in any health purposes the government or any organization have benefit packages for these children. Remove the barriers of employment and education 
would help these children to access the best facilities, improve the legal framework, especially for the children with special needs, which will have a better future for them. Accessible technology and related benefits for improvements in child growth. Eradicate poverty for such families with extra cost of living due to disability and provide poverty. These factors would help the children with special needs to cope up with social protection and ensure from all sides. Conclusion. Every child is to be, every child with special needs is to be considered equal in the society. They all have basic rights to live upon, basic human rights which they have justice to. As a society, we should ensure the social protection of these children and give extra guidance to these children for a better living. Through self-responsibility, governments, organizations, stakeholders bring equal participation and make them accepted part of the society today. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah Phillips, uh, for this presentation. Uh, now we are open for question answer session. Any questions? Uh, please, sir. Sarah, listen carefully. You are coming a question? Yes, sir. Uh, respected madam, my question is uh, when becomes a child special on the basis of needs? I mean to say, what is the criteria on the basis of which we can class my students on the basis of uh, uh, class? Uh, pardon me, I cannot hear you. you. You can come here, sir, please. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 Special needs. What is the criteria? Criteria for the special needs children for? What is the criteria so that we class my students into special needs or special needs? Okay. So a child with special needs does not mean uh, that he has to have a disability or any kind of um physical um, need that is there but it may be mentally also maybe through uh, dyslexia it may be through any uh, physical disability it may be through mental illness or uh, a criteria does not um, include a child who is normal uh, especially when a child is uh, going to school and is coping up with a normal syllabus and where a child, where compared, is not able to cope up with the normal syllabus of the school life. Thank you, thank you. Any other question? Uh, uh, Sarah, you can take a sleep. Thank you so much. Now I am requesting Mr. Ajit Kumar. Ajit Kumar, are you with us? Ajit Kumar. <coughs> Mr. Ajit, are you there? Mr. Ajit is not present. Uh, uh, this way we have completed all the presentations. Three or four presenters are not present. Uh, I hand over the session to you, Mr. Bashi.
Professor Iqbal Saab to help state with a moment of the chair, Dr. Basim Raja. Thank you very much. 